far. Trying to wait for something to open up here. Trent has not attempted or made any threes this season. And Van over another rebound off the miss. Ace miss hesitation with the step. Oh, nice move there by Mad Max. All it takes is a little. Trying to find a lane. Cut off. Spinning on the baseline. And Eagle Staff 0 for 2 to start. Aceman's going to launch again. <laughs> yeah. This time he connects. Yeah, you and you was a little late. Hawks have put together six straight to take the lead back. That pick and pop has to be a huge part of the offense for UND. That is one of the weaknesses of this U of this Oral Roberts defense. They can go now. Now they settle in this rotation. Now they can really start progressing and going down this path of what this team is now that they know what the rotation is. Two missed free throws for Jalen Trent. He was four of eight against Kansas City on Thursday, and that's kind of been the up and down for him as McBride attacks Oma. Weaver gave it up to Ace Miss, and he just races past Trent. Is in the game. Sotene stretching the floor and knocking down those shots. It's got to be there. Aismas pulling up in the lane, little teardrop, and Max does such a gives it up to Eagle Staff. He rises up for three, and that's well off the mark. Aismas collects the loose ball, good closeout from Jurgens. Aismas eyeing up a three, and it is nothing but net. As soon as he crosses, Omot blocked at the rim, Vanover. Easily swats that one away. And that's the trouble. If you don't put Connor Van over in a ball screen, he's going to be lingering right around the rim. And Ace Miss delivers on the other end for three and a quick timeout. You read how you're being guard, guarded. That's how you react to that ball screen. And he read it correctly and did a great job and not putting the ball on the floor, quite frankly. Well, you had talked about it. And he is so good at getting to the free throw line. That's what I think is lost on this, as you'd expect any great scorer to do. But he does a great job at just using his body. A lot of times he's doing the creating the contact. But guess what? Max Aismas knows that too. And like I talked about, he's so savvy in the way that he scores the ball. And he puts the defense in a difficult situation. That's why UND has had to switch a lot of those tonight. But I think they're probably going to have to go back to just switching those because Max is doing a great job. Very effective. I mean, what a find out of the portal for Oral Roberts. Well, he fits into this system perfect with that pick and pop. I mean, Kevin O'Banner, we saw him do that for years and just kill everybody in the Summit League. And it's what he does for this team defensively, I think, is maybe even the most important thing. And he yeah. anchors this defense. It totally changes the complexion of which teams can attack them. Aismas going to work on Omot. Boy, just strength over a much taller defender. Mm. Does. Salt the game away from the free throw line. Oral Roberts now third. Now back to a 10 point game. Situation and just goes right to it. You don't have to overthink it. Get to the free throw line, you shoot 92%. But you're right, that's one of those calls that you're calling. But if you're a defender, you have to be aware that he's yes. going to be doing that. I mean, he does that to everybody. Yeah, he knows what he's doing yep. out there. That's a scouting report thing. Yeah. 